I do not see that your grass house is free of hope. Look, in this town, who among the worshippers of goddess Durga and the snake goddess Manasa does not eat very well at home? Shida replied, Oh, Brahman, you have spoken very well. Still everyone passes the time in the same way. Look, a king may live in a house of jewels and enjoy many splendid pleasures, and birds may live in trees. Still they pass the time in the same way. By the Lord's will, everyone must experience what is past karma destined. Then the Lord said, You possess a great treasure. You hide it and secretly enjoy it. One day I will find it. I will see it. How you cheat the people then? <coughs> Should have replied, Oh, pundit, you may come to my house, but it's not right that you fight with me. The Lord said, I won't leave you so easily. Tell me what you're going to feed me. Should have replied, I live by selling banana leaves. What can I give you? Tell me, my Lord. The Lord said, you hide your treasure underground. One day I will find where it is. Without asking for payment, give me bananas, roots, and banana leaves. Then I won't fight with you. In his heart, Sridhar thought, this Brahman is very aggressive. One day I'm going to kick him with his fist. <laughs> if this Brahman attacks me, what can I do? Every day I cannot give him these things without asking for payment. Still, by trick or by force, he always takes from me. Well, that is my good fortune. Every day I'll give him whatever he wants. Thinking in this way, should I say, My Lord, please listen. I will give you whatever you want. You need not pay for anything. I will give you bananas, roots, and banana leaves to your heart's content. Please don't fight with me. The Lord replied, Good, good. I will not fight. I will enjoy excellent good bananas, roots, and banana leaves. The Lord regularly ate Sridhar's bananas, roots, and vegetables in Sridhar's banana leaf cups. When a squash grew on a vine on Sridhar's roof, it was cooked with milk and spices, and the Lord enjoyed it. The Lord said, Sridhar, what do you think of me? When you tell me, I will go home. Sridhar replied, you are a Brahmin, you are a part and parcel of Lord Vishnu. <coughs> You don't understand, I was born in a family of cowherd people. You see me as a young Brahmin, but I consider myself a cowherd boy. Hearing the Lord's words, Shira laughed. Bewildered by Yoga Maya, he did not recognize the Lord. The Lord said, Shira, what I tell you is the truth. The glory of the Ganga comes from me. Shira said, only my pundit, are you not afraid to disrespect the Ganga? Generally, people grow more peaceful and steady as they grow older, but you have only become twice as mischievous. Lord Chaitanya, who is in truth Lord Hari himself, returned to his home after enjoying these pastimes with Sridhar. When Lord Chaitanya entered the room of his Vishnu temple, his students returned to their home. Okay. That's during the uh, Mahaprakash Lila, which is, can you look at Maji 9, see, that's entitled? Sridhar Charita Varnan, description of Sridhar's story. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, so <coughs> it begins on text uh, 130. In this ecstasy of 21 hours, Lord Chaitanya happily gave mercy to everyone. Lord Chaitanya commanded, bring Sridhar here at once. He should come and see my powers and glories. Always thinking of me, he is now unhappy. At once he should come here and see me. Go to the outskirts of town and wait. When someone calls out for me, bring him here. 
Following the Lord's command, the devotees hurried to Sridhar's home. Please hear a little of Sridhar's story. By selling banana leaves, he maintained his life. He would buy banana leaves and trunks, cut them and sell the pieces. Each day he gave half of his earnings to offer food to Goddess Ganga. The other half he spent to maintain his life. That is the test of a true devotee of Lord Krishna. He was truthful like Yudhisthira. Once quoting a price for something, he would never change it. Knowing the truth of him, the people paid whatever price he quoted. In this way, that great soul stayed in Navadvip. People know him as Kola Vecha, the banana leaf seller. They did not know his name. For 12 hours of the night, he did not sleep. All night, he chanted Krishna's names. All night, he called out, Hari, the materialists and offenders. <coughs> Complained. Sridhar screams all night long. We cannot even sleep. Our ears are breaking. He could not fill his belly with rice. Tortured by hunger, he stays awake all night. He must be on the verge of death. By complaining in this way, the materialists and offenders brought their own deaths near. Meanwhile, Sridhar happily performed his activities. Sridhar continued to call out, Hari! Overcome with spiritual love, Sridhar spent the night loudly chanting. When they had gone half the way, the devotees heard Sridhar's loud chanting. Following the sound of the loud chanting, the devotees eventually found Sridhar. Come, come, O oh great one, come and see the Lord. By touching you, we have made our lives glorious and perfect. Hearing the Lord's name, Sridhar fainted. Overcome with bliss, he fell to the ground. Hurriedly, they picked him up. Gently, they led him to Lord Chaitanya. Seeing Sridhar, Lord Chaitanya was very pleased. He said, come, come, you always call for me. For a long time you worshipped me. At the end of many <laughs> lifetimes, you gave up your life, remembering me with love. In this lifetime, you always served me. Again and again, I ate the bananas you gave. Again and again, I ate what you gave with your own hand. Many times you touched me. Many times you and I talked. When he was enjoying pastimes as a scholar, Lord Chaitanya acted like a person who was always very proud and arrogant. At this time, he secretly associated with Sridhar. On the pretext of buying banana leaves, he enjoyed many pastimes in this way. Every day, he went to Sridhar's shop and bought bananas, banana leaves, and banana roots. Every day, he would argue for two hours. In this way, he would buy everything at half price. Honest Sridhar quoted an appropriate price. Then the Lord raised his hand to take the goods at half price. Then Sridhar stood up to take the goods back. In the attempt to claim the goods, Lord Chaitanya and Sridhar would shove each other. Lord Chaitanya said, Brother Sridhar, why do you live like an ascetic? You are very wealthy, but still you live like this. You take the goods right out of my hand. To this day you don't know who I really am. Very devoted to the Brahmanas. Sridhar would not become angry. Seeing this on Sridhar's face, Lord Chaitanya would forcibly take the goods. Lord Chaitanya was more handsome than Kamadev. Charming Vaishnava Tilak shone splendidly on his forehead. His garments were folded thrice. His curly hair was splendid. His two eyes were very restless. A white sacred thread splendidly rested on his body. It was as if Anantashesha, assuming a very slender form, rested there. Beetle nuts were on his lips. Smiling, he looked at Sridhar. Again and again, he forcibly took the banana leaves. Sridhar said, Please listen, O saintly Brahmana. Please forgive me. I am your dog. The Lord said, I know you are very clever. You must be very wealthy by selling banana leaves. Are there no other shops? Sridhar said. Purchase banana leaves from them with only a few coins. Then the Lord said, I will not leave a good supplier. Give me some banana leaves and I will give you some coins. Gazing at the Lord's form, Sridhar became charmed and smiled. Then Lord Chaitanya gleefully spoke harsh words. He said, every day you buy offerings for Goddess Ganga. 
Rejecting the usual price, you should give to me for free. I am the father of the gun god you worship. What I tell you is the truth. It is the truth. Placing his hands over his ears, Sridhar called out, Vishnu, Vishnu. Gazing at the proud Brahmana, he gave him the banana leaves. Every day they quarreled like this. Sridhar thought, this Brahmana is very mischievous. Sridhar said, I will give to you, even if you don't give any coins, please forgive me. If I give away a piece of banana leaf, a piece of banana trunk, and a piece of banana root, then what is the harm? Then the Lord said, good, good, don't give any more than that. Every day, the Lord ate his meal on a new banana leaf plate given by Sridhar. The Lord likes to accept gifts given by his devotees. But if non-devotees give him millions of gifts, the Lord will not accept them. The Lord likes to enjoy pastimes like this. That is why he arranged that Sridhar sell banana leaves. To engage in this pastime, Sridhar became a seller of banana leaves. Who has the power to understand the pastimes of Lord Vishnu and the Vaishnavas? Without receiving the Lord's mercy, no one can understand these pastimes. The Lord acted in this way so that this story would make the world remember him. Then the Lord said, Sridhar, look at my form. Today I give you the eight mystic perfections. Raising his head, Sridhar looked at the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He saw that Lord Chaitanya was now dark like a tamal tree. In his hand, the Lord held a charming flute. On the Lord's right was Balaram. Sridhar saw that everything was very effulgent. Goddess Lakshmi was offering the Lord the betel nut she held in her hands. Four-faced Brahma and five-faced Shiva were offering prayers before the Lord. Anantasesha raised his great hoods like a parasol over the Lord's head. Gazing at the Lord, Sanaka, Narada, and Shukadeva offered prayers. From the four directions, many beautiful goddesses offered prayers with folded hands. Seeing all this, Sridhar became filled with wonder. In this way, he fainted and fell to the ground. Rise, rise, Sridhar, Lord Chaitanya commanded. Because of the Lord's words, Sridhar regained consciousness. Then Lord Chaitanya said, Sridhar, offer prayers to me. Then Sridhar said, O oh Lord, I am a fool. What prayers do I know? What power have I to speak prayers? Then Lord Chaitanya said, Simply speak some words, and that will be prayers to me. Then, by Lord Chaitanya's command, Goddess Saraswati entered Sridhara's tongue. Then Sridhar spoke these prayers. O Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, glory to you. O maintainer of the worlds, glory to you. O king of Navadvi, glory, glory, glory to you. O master of countless millions of universes, glory, glory to you. O Lord, born in the womb of saintly Shachi, glory, glory to you. O Lord, hidden from the Vedas, glory, glory to you. O King of the Brahmanas, glory to you. In many forms you come, yuga after yuga, to protect the true religion. Concealing your true identity, you wander from village to village. Without first receiving your mercy, no one has the power to understand you. You are religion, you are pious deeds, you are devotional service and spiritual knowledge. You are the scriptures, you are the Vedas, you are all spiritual meditations. You are the mystic perfections, you are the sages, you are yoga and enjoyment both. You are faith, you are mercy, you are greed and illusion. You are Indra, you are Chandra, you are Agni and Varuna, you are Surya, you are Vayu, you are wealth and strength. You are devotional service, you are liberation, you are Brahma and Shiva. What will you be? Everything belongs to you. In the past, you told me, look at your Ganga. Its water comes from my feet. At that time, my sinful heart could not understand. I did not understand the priceless treasure that is your feet. In the past, you made the village of Gokula glorious. Now you are the king of Navadweep. Pure devotional service resides within your body. Now it is as if you have taken pure devotional service out of your body and placed it in Navadweep. By the power of devotional service, Bhishma defeated you in battle. By the power of devotional service, Yashoda tied you up. By the power of devotional service, such a Bhama purchased you. Defeated by the devotional service, you carry the cowherd boys on your shoulders. Limitless millions of universes are manifest from your thoughts. Still, 
you personally carry the Gopa, Sri Dharma. You are conquered by devotional service. This is a great secret, a secret the people of this world do not understand. Devotional service always defeats you. After defeating you, devotional service enters you and hides within you. Material illusion cannot touch devotional service. Because of devotional service, material illusion becomes crushed into pieces. Look, all the worlds beg for devotional service. When they beg for devotional service, the people defeat you two and four times over. When they beg for devotional service, the people make you their captive. Hearing saintly goddess Saraswati speak these words through Sridhar, all the Vaishnavas became filled with wonder. Then Lord Chaitanya said, Sridhar, ask for a boon. Today I give you the eight mystic powers. Now they are in your grip. Sridhar said, Lord, what will I buy from you? Please be peaceful at heart. I do not want anything. Then the Lord said, Look, I am not unhappy. I must give you a boon, whatever is in your heart. Ask, ask, again and again, Lord Chaitanya demanded. Sridhar said, Lord, give me this boon. <clears throat> May the Brahman who gave coins for my banana leaves be my master, birth after birth. May the Brahmana who quarreled with me be my master. May he give me his lotus feet. Again and again, speaking these words, Sridhar was overcome with love. Raising his arms, he loudly wept. Seeing Sridhar's great devotion, the Vaishnavas were overcome. They also wept. Smiling, Lord Chaitanya said, Listen, O Sridhar, I will give you a great kingdom. I will make you a king. Sridhar said, I don't want that. You please become my master, and I will sing your name. Then Lord Chaitanya said, Sridhar, I am your servant. Look at how I appear before you. Still, I won't argue with you. Now I give you pure devotional service, which is hidden even from the Vedas. Then sounds of Jai, Jai came from the circle of Vaishnavas. Jai! 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 Everyone heard how Sridhar received the boon he wished. How does one recognize a true servant of Lord Chaitanya? Not by his possessing wealth, <clears throat> not by his follow, not by many followers, not by material education. What is the value of material education, wealth, beauty, fame, and noble family? They only increase false pride without limit. Sridhar, who sold bananas and banana roots, was able to see the Supreme Lord, whom even millions of kings cannot see after millions of gulpas. False pride and aversion to devotional service lead one to a life of hedonism. Hedonism makes one fall down, then one's future becomes unknown. A proud person who mocks the devotees, thinking them fools or people suffering in poverty, goes to the hell called Kumbhik Paka. That is the punishment for his misdeed. Who has the power to understand the Vaishnavas? The Vaishnavas possess all mystic perfections. Anyone who mocks the Vaishnavas goes to an inauspicious future. The banana leaf seller, Sridhar, bears witness to this truth. Simply by engaging in devotional service, he attained the eight mystic perfections. Continue. Uh, yeah, I think it's all just a few more verses. If you see a Vaishnav suffering, you should know that his suffering is spiritual. Actually, in the end, it is spiritual bliss. Persons blind with the desire for sense pleasures cannot understand. Persons mad with the desire for material education and material wealth cannot understand the Vaishnava. Persons who study Srimad Bhagavatam but do not accept devotional service find their intelligence is destroyed. Persons who blaspheme Lord Nityananda find themselves completely destroyed. Anyone who hears this description of Sridhar attaining a boon and offering prayers to the Lord will attain a great treasure of pure love for the Supreme Lord. Hari Om! Hari Persons who do not blast in the Vaishnavas attain Lord Krishna. They attain pure love and devotion for the Supreme Lord's lotus feet. One should never blast in the Vaishnavas, for such activities bring great sin. Anyone who does not blast in the Vaishnavas becomes very, very fortunate. Lord Krishna delivers anyone who once, without offense, says, Krishna. Krishna. That is the truth. It is the truth. 
I bow down before the Vaishnava's feet. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda are my life and soul. The two moons, Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Sri Nityananda, are my life and soul. I, Vrindavan Das, sing the glories of their feet. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare